extremely proud to say that earlier this week, I, James Mullinger, finally became a Canadian citizen. And I could not be more proud of that fact. But here's the thing, I've been here eight years, I still don't know where I live. Let me explain. Now, I know I've complained in the past about your penchant here in Canada for giving directions based on where things used to be, as opposed to what's actually there now. But it's actually much worse than that in the St. John region. Let me explain. I moved here in 2014. I was so happy to be here, starting my new life in a city as beautiful as St. John, full of spectacular views, friendly people, and thanks to annual flooding, waterfront mansions that cost 79 cents. I love this place. So when I went on the road performing stand-up comedy across North America, I would talk about how much I loved St. John on stage, on TV, in print magazine interviews. I was just delighted to be promoting the city that I loved so much. So when I arrived back here, thinking I was going to be well received for all of this promotion I had done, but no, no, turns out everyone here slagging me off going he doesn't live in St. John, he lives in bloody Rossi! What you got to do to win people over here? What's with all the divisions and boundaries? You're not allowed to like the place if you live too far from the county lines. It's not like this in London. In London we have lots of towns, villages, hamlets that make up London, but we all work together as one London. We promote one place. London. Not like that here in St. John, is it? Oh, no, you've got all the divisions, all the boundaries. I mean, Kingston Peninsula has been at war with Ground Bay for decades. I mean, listen, you can hear the cannon fire now. See? Everyone's at war with each other. East side versus west side. Old Grand Bay and Old Westfield are still battling it out, even though they're now Grand Bay Westfield. Neighbours by nature, still at war. The St. John Marina. But it's on the Westfield Road. So where is it? Is it in St. John? Or is it Westfield? Or is it Grand Bay? Or is it Mill Creek? Or is it Redbridge? Nobody knows! Some Westsiders are still clinging on to Carlton for dear life. And don't even get me started on the biggest war of them all, Rosse and Quiz Pam Sis. I didn't know about all these divisions and boundaries. I didn't even know I lived in Rosse. I knew I lived on the Rosse Road, but I just thought that was part of Greater St. John. But apparently, I'm not allowed to say that I love St. John because I live four minutes from the Rosse St. John border. But past the Rosse St. John border in St. John is also Kenneth Cases Park. Also in St. John, Rosse Avenue. How's anyone supposed to keep up? I'm in Rosse. Now I'm in St. John. Now it's fine to say I like St. John, but not now, I'm in bloody Rosse. St. John, Rosse. St. John, Rosse. So I've been living here six months and I finally know where I live. So I changed the address labels to Rosse, might start getting some bloody mail. A few weeks later, I'm walking along the street, I bump into a lady. I believe the technical term for this person is a Rosse snob. She says, oh, it's you, the comedian. She said, well, where do you live? And I said, well, I thought I lived in St. John. Turns out I live in Rosse. And she goes, Rosse? Where? 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 So that's how they talk in Rosse. I don't know if you know that. It's a vocal intonation brought on by extreme wealth and uh, incest. She says, where? I said, in between the wharf and the golf course. She says, you don't live in Rosse. You live in Renfor. You what? I don't live in a bloody lighthouse. Where the hell do I live? And a few weeks after, I'm over on the peninsula doing a show in a vineyard and the owner of the vineyard turns out he was the mayor of Renforth in the 1980s. I tell him where I live and he says, you don't live in Renforth, you live in East Riverside. And does it really help if I go on the road and tell everyone about this amazing place that I live called East Riverside and they go, oh, we must go on holiday to this East Riverside. Come on, darling, book us a flight. Well, I can't find an airport in East Riverside. Well, there must be one. The English comedian lives there. All I can see is a bloody dog walking park. All I know is, when I moved here, I flew into French Village Airport. <laughs>